Bismillahi min shaitanir razim Bismillahi rrahmanir rahim Atiya Allah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum and there was a reminder of myself on Abdukul Ajisu, Da'ifu, Miskeen, Zal, Majahal but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah the ishq and love and muhabbat of Imam Ali is an immense source of majestic might that this love and ishq of what Allah has dressed upon Asadullah al-Qalib, the victorious lion of Allah and all its realities in guidance that it represents an immense love, immense power from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and that the love of Ahlul Bayt is dear to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah give us this love, this life in which to make Allah happy, make Sayyidina Muhammad happy, make the holy companions to be happy, make Ahlul Bayt to be happy with good character and good akhlaq, that their nazar and their dress to be upon us. In Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah we described that Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq represents the face of the moon and the reality of the moon which is a Ashiqeen of the Shams. Shams al-Ma'rifa means that this way of Shams al-Ma'rifa, the height and pinnacle of Gnosticism is that its reality of the sun and that which is eternal. Means that they understood to seek the reality of their soul and they saw that reality in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Of what Allah from the last of time, last of messengers opened for the holy companions that this soul that you're seeing of Sayyidina Muhammad is the custodian of all realities. The last of treasures, the first of creation that comes to complete the whole cycle of revelation that it is in the reality of that which is eternal. And the holy companions are teaching us that they lived a life of being a moon. And the two exemplars of that reality for all the turuqs is Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq and Imam Ali Salam that we are representing the moon on earth and that our whole life was in the following of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and they established the adab for all the turuqs, all the path. The path is the, the orbit in which a ship must traverse. That Allah described everything is in an orbit. And this system of the sun and the moon Allah designed it to be an example of Sayyidina Muhammad It's not the reverse because the first of creation is Sayyidina Muhammad Then Allah created the world of form. And in that world of form He filled it with isharat and guidance and examples. Why the sun and the moon go in a pattern and in a path? Why is the moon always following the sun? Because this is the way Allah wanted guidance to be as an example. Your life is to follow that which is eternal. Don't be distracted on this world by that which is temporary. What we talked about last night, don't be a form, don't be a particle but train in this way of wave, break your particle, break the system of being observed and enter into your wave reality. And the big Siddiqs come as an example of that. They are the walking moons on earth, their stations are beyond that reality. They are the walking moons upon the earth that follow my qadam, follow my tariq, my way that I'm leaving as a way to perfect your love for the reality of the sun which is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad 
because nothing is like unto Allah Marifa, Marifa means they reach the highest Muhammadan realities and it's all creation and they attribute nothing from creation to Allah Allah is not in His creation. So follow the way of the perfected moons that this the system of guidance, the system of taking difficulties, the system of, of life filled with hardships but don't look left and don't look right. Direct yourself to the love and the muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad So Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq we talked the week before is the symbol of that moon, the symbol of that love, the symbol of that ishq that come to me. Love me, love my way and I begin to dress you from that moon so that you have such a ihtiram and such a love because when this father of love dresses us, he dresses and perfects our love for that which he loves. Don't talk to Sayyidina Muhammad like that. Don't listen to your shaitans and then go into his presence. Look at the adab. There are other people commenting on videos and posting and they call these noble people, noble souls by their first name as if they're your friend. You feel shy to even embarrass it. So Muhammad like this, Abu Bakr like this, Ali like this, yes smack you in the head. Who are you to call them like that? It's Sayyidina Muhammad Hazrat Abu Bakr, Imam Abu Bakr, Imam Ali they have titles, you tremble if you could even go into their presence which will probably be behind thousands of miles of steel behind. You don't talk about these people with their first name like that because they have no ihtiram and no schooling, nobody taught. But this teaching from Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq is trembling. This is a mighty king, Malik al-Muqtadir, Allah only describes Prophet with immense titles. Teaching then adab, the tariqat al naqshbandiyat al aliyah, the one whom actually studied and been dressed by it, they understand any reference to Sayyidina Muhammad Malik al Muqtadir, he's the immense power. That's the adab, that's what the moon comes to teach you. Oh, oh, oh revere, revere these people. These noble souls address them in their nobility. Keep a respect and ihtiram so that Allah will respect you and dress you. So then the testing and how to conform to the testing of life, how to take the difficulty in life, how to keep the respect. And then Imam Ali Salam comes and teaches in Naqshbandiyat al-Aliyah the role of the other side of the moon because the moon only shows its one face in guidance which that is, is pretty ajeeb. That when it circumambulates the earth, you only see one side of the moon. It doesn't go like that. The moon shows one face the whole time. The earth only sees this one face. You have to take a spaceship to go behind the moon to see what's going on. Because hmm? one face went into the cave and represents the face and he is the first Khalifa and that's why Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq is the face of this nation. He went to the cave, he gave the example of that reality, he is the face of the moon. So then Imam Ali Salam lied in the cave, lied in the bed on the hijra. That's the whole establishment of that reality that Imam Ali Salam represents a state in which to die before you die in an innocent youth that this reality is about to open. The great Khalil accompanies because he represents the face of this nation. There's no mistake, there is no Sunni and Shia. These people with bad manners and, and disrespect and no knowledge of anything. That's why Naqshbandiya represents the perfection, it represents Mahdiyoon because when Sayyidina Mahdi comes, He's in the Naqshbandiyat tariqah and at that time names it Muhammadiyah and will begin to convey to them, you people lost your mind. 
this reality of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq and the reality of Imam Ali Salam and comes to dress. And the tariqah takes that dress and Imam Ali Salam comes to teach that my reality of futuwa, that I was a youth and I was willing to sacrifice myself for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad I play a hidden role in realities. Both achieved wave but one represented the particle that both immensely powerful souls, one took the position to be the face of the nation and was the first khalifa, there's no mistake. And the other took the role from the hijra, that I'm hidden, I sacrifice and I live a life within sacrifice. And they came to kill Imam Ali Salam and Allah not a hair on his head was allowed to be touched. But he represents the ocean of fana and represents the sight of the moon and the sight of guidance which you don't see but is ever present in the struggle. Because of the might and majesty in which Allah is dressing Asadullah al-Qalib, the one whom comes to support the believer in their fight against devils. The Mawlana Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq comes and teaches the struggle, the akhlaq, the character, have good character, take my foot and my foot will block shaitan from entering into your heart. Live how I lived, respect how I respected, I gave everything, did everything for the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad We talked the night before that they don't mix waswas and marifa. They don't mix this ishq and this love, they say, okay when these shaykhs talk they're all Muhammadiyoon, they carry and emanate a Muhammadan light in your life. The more that you can respect it and understand it, the more you have a reverence for it, the more you conduct yourself as if you're in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad the more you will experience that reality. It's not for the shaykh, he doesn't need anybody, they're not known to anyone. But this Muhammadan light begins to come out and he begins to teach that keep a reverence and, and revere that light, its knowledges and its realities. As a result, I'll dress you from my hearing in which you will hear Prophet in that knowledge. I'll dress you from my seeing and many here or online. As soon as the majlises start they see the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad they see the presence of the shaykhs, they see the presence of Ahlul Bayt, whoever is coming in through that broadcast they see because their hearts are open. As a result that's the light and the dress that Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq gives. So many may have known about Sayyidina Muhammad but they didn't see him. Right? The ones who saw became companions, they saw with their heart. Others say, well we know this gentleman from this community, they didn't really see. He opens the eyes of their heart that, do you see who this reflection is? Conduct yourself accordingly. That's what the moon's guidance is. Imam Ali Salam comes from a hidden reality that continuously sends support, sends support. Say, Sahib al Imdad, the one whom is continuously supporting. Everyone's waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi, salam, but that's the grandchild of Imam Ali. Salam. Sahib al Imdad is, is a, a source of power and madad that flowing through the reality of Imam Ali. Salam, that coming to support the heart, coming to support your faith against the struggle of devils that are all around you. So one perfecting your etiquette, your character, your, your, your akhlaq so that Allah's rida will be upon you. The other one coming to send a qudra and a light within your heart that the devils are coming against you. So then this lion has to come and begin to hit within your soul to push that devil away. Now imagine loving them because their commitment is not for you, 
their commitment is for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Right? They're not doing because they want us something from us. They want the love of Prophet and that his nation that we're going to fix and, and correct and heal his nation at all times. But imagine if you love them, then what Prophet gives, you'll be with whom you love. That's why Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, we repeat, was so excited about that revelation, that hadith that he began to move like a sama of ishq out of the fear like when he was holding the snake under his, his heel he was crying that how this snake if it comes out and hurts the one I love I'll let him eat my entire being before that happens. And saying, how am I going to guide this nation when I know what type of sins they're going to make? And Prophet gave that if they just love you, they'll be with you. They'll inherit from you and you're already with me. Means you'll be bringing them into my presence to be washed and cleansed. Imam Ali is a qudra and a power of that ishq. That if we love them and respect them and keep that ihtiram, their, their mada, their support flows within the being. And that support is all the way to the days that are coming. Means that Allah kept Imam Ali alive. They thought that they stabbed him. He was put upon his camel and said, hit my camel and I'll go into the desert. And they thought that he was passing away and going into the desert. And a caravan was coming back and they said that, poor Imam Ali just passed away, we put him on a camel. He told us, put on a camel and I'll just go out and die into the desert. And the caravan came and said, no he wasn't dead, he was sitting and waving at us and riding off into the desert. Imam Ali is alive, there is no body for Imam Ali They have mazhars where they believe they've seen and witnessed his ruhaniyat, there's no body for Imam Ali Allah preserved that reality and He holds that reality of all the nation. This nation is not crumbling because His presence is on this earth. This whole teaching of Jabal Qaf and all these realities that are deep within Islam, that He's a custodian. This what Nadi Ali is being recited, that's why all Ahl Sunnah shaykhs said, recite Nadi Ali. Sahib al Imdad is the one whom is supporting and holding the flag of this nation. Otherwise many would have come to destroy it. But Allah give izzat and might to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad and none can hold it but the holy companions in Ahlul Bayt. There's not a wali on this earth that can hold what Sayyidina Ali, Imam al Ali is holding. And whatever they had of trust and, and realities as we enter into the times of Dajjal, all have been returned into his hand. And that's why for four or five years Shaykh Nazim's last talks were all, Ya Shahi Mardan, Ya Shahi Mardan, Mawlana described. Every Fajr talk as he was going nearing his passing from this earth, he was giving back the trust into the reality and into the hands of Imam Ali Salam. Means that the one whom holds the trust of this nation and the one whom is ever present upon this nation, it is a immense, immensely essential for this love and this muhabbat. That this is a guidance for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah never left this nation alone to be in the hands of devils and to destroy and to, to do everything they want with it. Means that that power, that authority, that qudra is flowing. That's why the turuqs, the turuqs were ashiqeen and they knew that that power, they knew the reality of Ahlul Bayt. Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah, Ali because it's the soul of every tariqah, because Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq is in it and the secret of Imam Ali Salam is in it. As a result, it is the only tariqah from that reality, it's the soul of all tariqahs. And as a result, that is the tariqah of Sayyidina Mahdi salam. And that is and that might and these realities and these teachings are flowing out with their flags. And said, so the reason that these knowledges are flowing out 
is to educate, educate people on these realities that are coming, these realities of light, these realities of, of waves, these realities of the jinn, these realities of what the dajjal is going to be establishing upon the earth. We pray that in these holy nights and in this immense love for Imam Ali Salam that his nazar be upon us, his dress be upon us, his blessings be upon us, his support be upon us, our family and our communities. And that he take this love and this ishq and perfect our character to be presented to the holy presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and give us a life in which to be present with our form, with our soul into the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi salam inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa siri Surat al-Fatiha.